Hey there, welcome back to Great Tastes of Manitoba and our trend to extend with Manitoba Mushroom Growers Association, Heather Dibert. We have our beautiful classic ground beef and mushroom blend, which uh, we've made meatballs with mm -hmm. just, just uh, a moment ago. And yes. now we've got these uh, beautiful hamburgers that uh, we're going to do. Yes. And the cool thing about it is not only are there mushrooms in the burger, yes. we're gonna put more mushrooms on the burger Correct. as well. Yes, we're gonna show people the proper technique to saute some mushrooms. Because I didn't realize, because yep. I just throw them in the pan, yep. start cooking them up, and that's not what we do. So. Well, there is there's a few little rules that will make them a little bit better. Improve yep. upon Improve. the whole thing. Yep. Okay, perfect. So uh, one other thing I just wanted to mention uh, was when you're getting your mushrooms ready to cook with, uh, if you buy them in the grower wrap packages that already have uh, from, from Love Day, then you basically, no human hands have touched those. Okay. So you really don't need to wash those. But we do meet, I encourage people to take a mushroom brush or some paper towel. I've never heard of a mushroom brush before. Yes. It's like every time, it's like there's some new thing. Yes. And, and so this is an actual brush made for it is. mushrooms. It is. And How it, would just, it looks like a mushroom. Yeah, it looks like a little mushroom. Adorable. And you basically are just going to brush any of the growing medium that is on the mushroom. You want to brush it off. It's not harmful. It's not bad if you miss some, uh, but you just may want to get off some of those uh, bits of it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Now, getting to the sauteing yes. part. So you, you were telling me there's three, actually three parts to sauteing mushrooms properly. Yes. Okay, well what are they? Okay, so the proper way is that you want to make sure that you have a nice flavored amount of butter. Okay, butter. In your, in your dish, or if you prefer canola oil, will work well. Butter just gives a little bit more flavor. Um, so I've got a bit of butter in here, and you just want to melt down your butter first and get that melted, and get your heat up to about a medium high. Okay. Okay. And the so it's reason, a high, higher heat. It is. Yeah. It's a high heat because you want to basically cook the mushrooms. You don't want them to steam. So you want to make sure that you don't overcrowd the pan and that you constantly keep them moving. Okay. So those would be your three tips. So I'm going to put some mushrooms into the pan. I have to Just, be honest, when it comes to mushrooms, I, yeah. I do tend to overcrowd them a little bit yes. because I do, they, they shrink up. They get they so do. small, right? Yes. And you'll start to see that as long as you keep them moving, they won't steam and you won't get that. If you've ever sauteed mushrooms and it's very watery mm -hmm. they in get the pan sweaty. and yeah. sweaty, yeah. that's because the heat wasn't high enough okay. and they didn't constantly move them. Awesome. So it's all in the technique of making sure that you get the high temperature and that you keep them moving to get the best caramelization going and the best flavor. Okay, so yeah. I grew up on a small farm in Saskatchewan. I'm Ukrainian. We yes. eat mushrooms like candy. Yes. What is it about, the, uh, something about umami. Now, I, yes. I've heard of this before, but tell us a little bit about what that is, because I think it's why we love mushrooms. Those of us who love mushrooms, that's why we yes. love them. Yes. It, what it is, it's actually a flavor enhancer. There's a chemical in mushrooms that actually, it's called the umami effect. Umami. Yes, umami. umami. Okay. And what it does is that it elevates the flavor of all the other foods that you add mushrooms to. Okay. So, for instance, today we're going to add them to our burger. It's going to elevate the flavor of all the other flavors that are involved in the burger. I've heard to, yes. it referred to as the fifth taste. Yes. So it's it's like a whole other that layer. That sense, yes. Okay. Yes. And another thing about mushrooms I think that a lot of people miss is that yes. um, they're extremely nutritious as well. They are. Yes, they are the only uh, vegetable in the produce section that has naturally occurring vitamin D. Vitamin D. Vitamin Hard D. Hard to get, actually, yes, right? in Winnipeg. Yeah. Something that yeah. we need. Uh, as well, it's a good, they're a good source of fiber. They're a good source of antioxidants. Okay. And they are very low in calories, and they have no fat. From the so, really. Pretty much the perfect food. Yes, I they don't are. don't really need anything else. Okay. okay so, now we're going to start building our burger. Are we ready yes. for this? Okay. Okay. So, let's show the burger. Uh, what we've done so far is that we created the burgers. We've put some cheese on two of them. You may want to take some uh, mozzarella cheese. Okay. And just put it on the two burgers there. And you want to do this in the last minute of cooking. Right. So, once your burgers are almost finished cooking, then you want to add the... The uh, cheese. cheese, and you just want it to just melt, and it will continue to melt on your burger after. And what kind of cheese is this? This is mozzarella. Correct? This is mozzarella From slices. Well, right? Yes. Okay. So we'll take one. Yep. Okay. And we're, we're ready going for that. To build the burger All onto right. either a Kaiser bun, whole wheat bun, whatever okay. you choose. Now there's okay. no particular order here. No. But we've got all kinds of like peak of the market vegetables. How yes. beautiful is this? What would you do first? I so much pressure. Yes. Okay. 
How about that? Bacon. Okay, a little bit of uh, the classic lettuce. mushroom matzo burger. Okay, and then now I cheese. I probably you know we had and cheese on onion. there already. A little onion. Yes, yeah. again, peak of the market. How lovely. Yeah. All right, okay. there we go. And now and then we're going to put the piece de resistance on top of right. our mushroom matzo burger. Oh my is, gosh. We're going to put some sautéed mushrooms. That looks right absolutely wonderful. On there. Okay. Yes. Perfect. There it is. Yes. Um, a mushroom matzo burger. And uh, when we come back, anytime you see one skillet mushroom burrito, one skillet, that's, uh, that's awesome. It's going to be quick and easy. And we'll be doing that as soon as we come back here on Great Tastes of Manitoba. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba. Brought to you in part by greattastesmb.ca.